Hello, and welcome to another video with your host, Agent Smith Voice Productions. Today's topic, I'm taking a look at some of the most frightening sounds in World War II. Quite possibly one of the most iconic noises of the Second World War, this list begins with the distinctive sputtering sound of the infamous V-1 rocket. Known also as the flying bomb, the buzz bomb, the doodle bug, and the cherry stone, the V-1 was developed for mass-scale terror bombing against London. This weapon was a pilotless monoplane and the only production aircraft to be powered by a pulse jet motor. It featured a one-ton warhead that was launched off a special ramp and it had a cruising speed of 650 kilometers per hour at a range of over 250 kilometers. What made this weapon so frightening was not only the droning noise, but when the V-1 reached its target, the engine would cut out due to fuel starvation. What followed was a horrifying moment of silence before the gliding warhead slammed into the ground and detonated. Another infamous sound that makes it to this list is the Soviet Kyusha rocket launcher. Making its combat debut in 1941 and used extensively in World War II, during the German invasion of Russia, this weapon was the first self-propelled artillery produced by the Soviet Union. Also known as the German Killer, or more commonly as Stalin's organ, due to the unique howling noise emitted by the engines. These rockets featured a 5 kilogram explosive warhead and had a range of up to 8.5 kilometers. The Soviets used the M13 rocket that was an improved decorative of the aircraft launched RS-132 rocket and were mounted via a special launch rail that could accommodate up to 16 rockets per truck. Although cheap to produce and able to deliver explosions to a target area more quickly, the Katyusha rockets were more fragile than artillery and required a longer time to reload. Perhaps the most celebrated machine gun of all time, the MG42 was a light portable Malja general purpose machine gun developed in 1942 by Germany. Used extensively by the Wehrmacht and the Waffen SS in World War II, the MG42 developed a ferocious reputation. Belt fed, this weapon had no one shot capability, fired a 7.92mm round overheated and gorged on ammunition at a staggering 1,500 rounds per minute. This machine gun had various names. The Americans referred to it as Hitler's buzzsaw because of the way it viciously cut down troops, and the Russians called it the linoleum ripper due to the unique shredding sound it made when it fired. <laughs> In World War II, British or American soldiers with a magazine-fed machine gun when faced against this German weapon would be absolutely terrified by the mere sound of an MG-42. Eventually, the situation became so severe that the US had to produce a special training film so that troops would become accustomed to the noise due to the machine gun's psychological impact. Up next is another iconic noise that left a long-lasting impression on World War II. It is none other than the potent symbol of the Blitzkrieg, and of course I'm referring to the Jericho trumpet or the Stuka siren. <laughs> First used in the Spanish Civil War in 1936, the Yonkers Ju-87 or Stuka 
was a two-man dive bomber and ground attack aircraft that saw widespread success during the Blitzkrieg campaigns of 1939 to 1942 in World War II. Designed specifically to instill fear, the Jericho Trumpet was a mechanical propeller-driven siren that was bolted onto the fixed undercarriage of the Ju-87. When the aircraft initiated its attack dive, the air flowing through the siren would produce the famous shrieking wail that had a devastating impact on the morale of troops and civilians alike. Over time, however, the impact it had lessened as enemies were alerted by it, and pilots flying the Ju-87 hated the sound as early versions of the siren couldn't be turned off, and thus many Stuka units removed them as they were driven mad by the continuous howling noise. Now, you can imagine that if you heard this screaming sound during World War II, it would have been absolutely terrifying, and it would often be accompanied by a deafening blast. Another scary sound is the Panzerwerfer, also known as the Moaning Mini by the Allies, was a self-propelled artillery rocket launcher used by Germany in World War II. First introduced in April 1943, it was designed for larger-scale rocket barrages against Allied positions, where a large bombardment of a big area will be more effective than more accurate artillery fire. The rocket barrages covered much larger areas and added more psychological elements to the fight, especially the infamous sound of the rocket engines. The Panzerwerfer weighed up to 7.1 tons, was 6 meters long, and capable of reaching speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour. Although this vehicle was intended to provide fire support, some Panzerwerfers were also fitted with a machine gun mounted above the cab for protection against attacking infantry. If you heard the sound of clanking tracks along with a growling engine, it was a telltale sign that a heavy armored vehicle was around. I'm going to refer to a couple of iconic tanks of World War II that developed fearsome reputation in all proportion to their numbers. The German Panzerkampfwagen 5 and 6, also known as the Panther and Tiger tank. These vehicles were heavily armored and had extremely powerful anti-tank guns that could easily decimate any of the tanks that the Allies fielded onto the battlefield. Although they were reliable, Germany didn't have vast amounts of resources to produce these vehicles in large numbers. Such was the legendary status of these tanks. The mere sight and sound of one would sure enough strike fear into the hearts of Allied tank crew and infantrymen. Finally, I finish off this list with a sound in World War II that will be blood-curdling, and that is air raids. Also known as strategic bombing, these were common throughout the Second World War, and it was widely believed by many military strategists that major victories could be won by attacking industrial and political infrastructure. This often involved bombing areas inhabited by civilians, and some campaigns were deliberately designed to target civilian populations in order to terrorize and crush morale. One of the most infamous strategic bombing attacks in World War II was the London Blitz in 1940. 1940-1941, and not only would one hear the shrieking sound of a Carter air raid siren, but also the ominous droning noise of hundreds of Luftwaffe aircraft, followed by the deafening explosions of bombs and the cries of the wounded.
I hope you have enjoyed today's video and let me know down in the comment section below if there are any other horrifying sounds in World War II that you would like to add. The sounds that I have listed above would certainly scare the hell out of me. As always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give this a like and subscribe for more content. Until then, see you in the next video.